What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Nerf Elite Shell Strike, a spring-powered shell-fed shotgun in a pistol format. Very cool blaster. Let's get into the review. Included is the blaster itself, two shells, darts, and the instructions. External overview of the shell strike starting up the front. Of course, there's no in strike barrel lug. This is a shotgun that fires three darts at once. You can't shoot three darts through one barrel, so you can't put a barrel on a shotgun, obviously. <laughs> now to the shells and how you load the shells. So there's a lever only on the left hand side, not present on the right. When you pull this down, this opens up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And now that it's open, you can see the back of the shell right here. You can get the shell out in different ways. You can tip the blaster upside down and then just poke and it'll drop right out. But when you put the shell in, it does click into place, so if you just hold the blaster upside down, it won't gravity drop. It is clicked into place. You'd have to shake it pretty hard to get it out. But there's no spring retention system and no spring loaded like getting the shell out. You do have to manually pull it out on your own. Compared to the old sledge fire, when you open this, right there, it's actually spring loaded to eject the shell to make it really easy to pull that out. When you open up the shell strike, it's still locked in there. So you have to pull it out yourself. I'm not complaining, it's really not a big deal. I'm just saying this is different than the sledge fire. Moving on to the shell strike shells themselves. Each shell holds three rounds and they fire off all at once. It's a three round shotgun. These are the same shotgun shells that came with the recent Nerf trilogy, this blaster here. So if you have a trilogy, you can use the shells you already own with the shell strike and you can buy these separately already. Compatible shells for the win, oh yeah. To load the shells, you can just shove your darts right on in there. It holds three darts, but it does have a smart AR system. So you don't have to load all three if you don't want to. You can fire one, two, or three three darts at one time. After you load your shell, loading the blaster is fairly straightforward. You hit this lever again to open that up. Then you just slide your shell in and shut this. And now you are loaded, ready to go. Continuing the external overview down here, we have two shell slots. So you can hold two shells plus one in the chamber. Keep in mind, this blaster only comes with two. I'm featuring more than two because I have a trilogy and I have more than two shells, but only two are included with the shell strike. The front location's nice because you can load this up with spare darts in your pocket like that. And when you're ready to reload, you can just pull those shells out for your reload. Below the shell holders is an in-strike tactical rail. This is the only tactical rail on the blaster. Weird place for an optic, but uh, am I the only one that's thinking shotgun with a chainsaw? Come at me, Zambies. Shotgun plus close range. I mean, this is a CQB god right here. <laughs> or an optic if you're in Australia and everything's upside down anyways. <laughs> Moving back now to the trigger. The trigger pull is pretty standard. This blaster does not have slam fire. I don't know how that would work if it did. Now to the grip. It's definitely on the smaller side, especially for an elite blaster. It is little, but it's ergonomic and pretty smooth. And even with this little bar down here, closing it off, it's still fairly comfortable for a large hand. And below the grip is a sling or a lanyard mount. Now up to the top, which is the priming handle. This is an interesting style priming handle to prime. You pull back on this and then let go and it returns to right where it was. So it's not like a protruding plunger arm. The priming mechanism feels a little different, but it works just fine. It's fairly smooth and the, the strength required is pretty moderate for an elite blaster. That is an external overview of the shell strike. Let's see it fire. Shooting blue nerf elite darts starting with three at a time. Now shooting only two darts at one time. Now shooting just one dart at a time.
Operating a shell strike is super fun. I did not have any jams and malfunctions through my testing procedure. If you could see me front loading in my firing demo, that's because these barrels are exposed. It's not like hidden within the sledge fire or the trilogy fake barrel shroud up front. Having this exposed allows you to front load it. So if you just want a front loading shotgun, you can do that. And with the smart AR system, if you don't want a shotgun, you just want to fire one or two, load in how many ever darts you want to fire and just pew pew. To compare the shell strike to other blasters, I put it up on my chronograph and with three darts at a time, achieved an average velocity of 42 feet per second. And while firing only two darts at a time, leaving a barrel open deliberately, I achieved an average velocity of 47 feet per second. And shooting only one dart at a time, I averaged 56 feet per second. But this is a three round shotgun, not a single shooter. So it cannot be compared to that elite par of 70 FPS. As a comparison, remember the Trilogy had an average velocity of 53 feet per second. So this shoots only 42 FPS compared to the Trilogy's 53 FPS shooting three darts, which is the comparison there. So the shell strike is a little underpowered, but it's a pistol shotgun. So I think Nerf did that deliberately. And with this priming mechanism, it would get a little difficult to prime if they made it too strong. I know modders are definitely gonna throw gigantic springs in here and wreck with a three round shotgun. They'll deal with it, but I don't think their normal consumer wants to deal with cranking back an 80 FPS spring on this priming arm. It's comfortable and it works perfectly in stock form, but if you crank the spring up, this is gonna be a little weird to prime. So chrono velocity definitely on the slower end, even for a shotgun. So that that's the objective information I can provide on the Nerf Shell Strike. Now to my personal opinion. Overall, I love this blaster. I think it is perfectly executed and a very cool concept. I'm not really a shotgun guy myself because I don't want to carry this around just for the occasional time I want to fly off three darts at once. I prefer semi-auto, so if I want to shoot a shotgun, I'd rather just triple tap on a strike. It's kind of the same in our hobby. So this doesn't really make sense for me to carry around, but this is tiny. This works, and as a three-round shotgun with similar performance, I honestly don't see why you'd buy a Trilogy anymore. They kind of accidentally made the Trilogy obsolete with the Shell Strike. I love that they're the same shells as the Trilogy, and I hope if Nerf makes future shell blasters, they'll continue with the same shell so everything is interchangeable, just like with the magazine system. So the shells work just fine, and I love how they didn't add some ridiculously long barrel right here, so you can actually front load this blaster if you want to. And if you have a handful of darts, it's actually faster to front load than to go through this process, not lose that, and then get this other one out. It's definitely tactical and it's fun to throw out the shells and stuff and to replace them, but front loading is very practical. And since it features a smart AR system, so each barrel has an independent valve on it, so if you only load one dart, you only shoot one dart and it doesn't like leak air out of the other two barrels. That's what a smart AR does. So if you just want a single shooter, you can just single load this all day. It's really no reason to because the chrono velocity is only 56 FPS, which is a little slow, but it's nice that it gives you the option, load in how many other darts you can before you have to pull the trigger. And honestly, if I use this, I'm not even sure I'd use the shells because front load is honestly just easier. But comparing the breaches and the overall user experience between the sledge fire and the shell strike, the sledge fire feels like a proper shotgun. There's just something super fun about doing this that is not really matched in the shell strike. It's just clean, it's precise, this is out of your way, this is easy to do, it's not very cumbersome and it doesn't require fine dexterity. Reloading the shell strike is fun in itself, but it's a little bit more cumbersome and you have to tip the blaster, it's not spring loaded, it doesn't feel as fun as the sludge fire. Is it gonna help you slay zombies more effectively? No, I'm really talking about the user experience rather than the effectiveness. You are using a Nerf shotgun, not a particularly practical blaster, so I assume you're in it for the emotions, not necessarily just for your KD. Kill death ratio for non-game Gamers. So I don't think the shell strike is as entertaining to use as something like the sledge fire, but it's more practical and I would never actually use a sledge fire in a battle. I'm not a shotgun guy. I could actually see myself using this in a battle. I'd put it on a one point sling, throw it around my back, pretty much forget about it until my strife runs out of ammo and whip this out for almost a guaranteed kill at under 10 feet. Someone's super close, a three round shotgun and the elite dart inaccuracies, the elite darts fly all over the place. That'll actually be beneficial in a shotgun. As you can see in the firing demo, the darts kind of sprinkle all over. I actually would not use waffle head darts in a shotgun, just for that reason. That is the only compliment I have ever, and pretty much will ever, give to elite darts. And honestly, what I wanna do, this is only gonna apply to modders, but I wanna throw this through my bandsaw, chop this off, chop all of this off, and then it pretty much looks like a strong arm. I'd pretty much glue that shut and get rid of the shell concept entirely. Then you have the form factor of a strong arm, but it's a three round shotgun. I'd upgrade the spring, of course, to shoot closer to 70 FPS with all three darts. You can't go much hotter, otherwise priming it off of this priming handle might be a little uh, difficult. But man, if you hack that off, increase the spring power and just deal with front loading, that's an excellent secondary that fits in a holster because you cut all this off. That's like a great, I haven't modded in like over a year, but I might, I might hack this guy up. I paid for it, Nerf didn't send it to me, so I can mod it. Those are the rules, I'm not allowed to mod anything they send me. <laughs> But overall, very high marks for the shell strike. I mean, I don't like shotguns, but I like this shotgun. That 
you know, take that as you will. And that concludes my opinion. Hopefully I laid out all of the information you need to make an educated purchase decision. If you're interested in buying a shell strike, I'll put a link in the description box below. That concludes this video review. Thanks so much for watching bros. And as always, stay tactical.